Hey guys, good morning. We have an athlete at our gym who, you know, uh, exercised the same time as me today. And just my style, I think I've alluded to this in other videos. My style is that when I finish the workout of the day, whatever the wad was in our CrossFit classes, I'll stick around for another 20 minutes or so, sometimes a little bit longer, 20, 30 minutes maybe. And I'll work on extra stuff that addresses my weaknesses or helps me to get better in some way. And that's what I did today. But my style is uh, is to do that. And I found that with this, you know, with my class time, which is 9.30 or 10 a.m., I, I find myself in this pattern of like costly like recruiting people who are in the 9.30 or 10 a.m. class to stick around and do the extra stuff that I'm doing with me so that I don't have to do it alone, but also because I know that that additional time would be tremendously beneficial and valuable to anybody else who puts in the extra work also. So there's an athlete who was in the 9.30 today who's not usually in the 9.30. She's usually in a different workout time. And I'm like, yo, hey, let's stick around. Let's do this extra ab work. And then that was done. I'm like, all right, cool, let's stick around. Let's do this extra handstand push-up work. And uh, when that was all done, and she had joined me for all of that, when that was all done, she asked me, almost as like this afterthought, she asked me, so do you coach here anymore? And I said, I said no, not really. Like my role at CrossFit has really kind of evolved there are a few roles that only I can do at CrossFit E, and so I put my energy and my focus there. There's a lot of people at CrossFit who, you know, in our gym now, who can coach with excellence. It doesn't have to be me anymore. That was just like me giving a really like thoughtful answer to the question. I it didn't like, I didn't like really process immediately in the moment why it was that she might ask that question, but. It kind of dawned on me afterward that she probably wishes that I did still coach because I'm the guy that will get you to stick around and do the extra stuff after the hour. And the whole time that she was working alongside me, I'm like, I'm pushing her, come on, get on the rep, come on, one more rep, come on, one more rep, come on, you can do this, you're strong, you're powerful, you're courageous, you're fearless, nothing can stop you, come on, you got five more, let's go, get that next rep, come on, come on, dig a little deeper, come on, you can do this. Like, I'm that guy. <laughs> when, I, when I'm uh, working with somebody, and I think that she was like, hey, Obi, she didn't say this. I think the implication was that she wished that I was still a coach so that I could be like giving her that push in my own unique way on a regular basis. At least that's my, that was my thought was that that was probably what she was thinking in her mind, even though she didn't say it. And it's, you know, all of us have our own styles as coaches and all of us will like connect with people. In, in a unique way and but as a coach like I can't fulfill my highest purpose here at CFE since you know I've been called to change my role this is the thing probably a lot of us gym owners struggle with is that transition from being an owner and an operator to just the owner and the leader and the general manager and the visionary and being the entrepreneur that takes ideas, builds them, staffs them, hands them off and let somebody else run it. Like as a, as a, as a box owner, that's like, I think for a true entrepreneur box owner, that's the natural evolution that has to happen is that transition from owner operator to just like owner and, um, you know, the program builder, the role has to shift and you know, I know there are some people that will probably wish that I could still coach, but I'm sure there are just many people that are super stoked about having JJ coaching more or having Sean coaching more because in a lot of ways, like they have a style that is better than mine. A lot of, a lot of ways they can do things that I can't do because they've committed their whole lives to coaching with excellence. 
So these are some musings from me today about that. Um, I'm sure some of you box owners can relate. I'm sure some of you guys, if you've transitioned away from owner operated where you're coaching a whole bunch of classes, I'm sure that you've probably experienced that too, where some people are like, man, I wish you were still coaching or where some people, or even like you feel like you feel drawn to that because it's, it's an easier role than the entrepreneur, than the problem solver and all that. I guess this is the, the growing pains, right? It's part of the growing pains. You just roll with it. It's just some thoughts for today. That's all.